Okay, so today we are going to study about the polyhalogen compounds. It means uh, in this uh, uh, topic we will study about some of the halogen containing organic compounds which are uh, really useful to make in medicines. Uh, even they are uh, number of times hazardous for uh, our uh, health also. But uh, we are going to be study about uh, like chloroform. I think yet you heard this word number of times chloroform, uh, carbon tetrachloride, dichloromethane then iodoform, then chlorofluorocarbon which is also known as uh, freon and the last uh, but uh, really much important without that I think that no 12 science exams can be conducted I think that uh, must be asked in any of that would say me, JW, wherever that any of the exam you should find this one at least one time okay and that is DDT okay so we are going to be study about uh, chloroform and dichloromethane for today okay uh, we will study about it uh, like their preparation method then we will uh, study about their uh, uh, characteristic and their uses also okay so like yes uh, we did it in the polymer similar kind of things that we will see here okay so let us start with the dichloromethane Okay, so uh, first preparation method for the dichloromethane, dichloromethane CH2Cl2 also called as methylene chloride. Okay, so dichloromethane is formed by the reduction of chloroform in the presence of, yes, Lucas material we have. Okay, so by the use of Lucas material, reduction takes place, see, okay, uh, if there is, uh, sorry, uh, there is hydrogen in there. It means hydrogenation will take place. The presence of zinc plus HCl, which is known as what? Lucas material. This is chloroform, reacting with the two hydrogen gives you dichloromethane and removal of Cl being there. Okay, so this is the our first preparation method for the dichloromethane. What is the second preparation method? That is chlorination. Oh, yes. Uh, we studied about the chlorination number of times in the presence of sunlight. H nu. One minute. When I will write the reaction, you will get it. is going to be manufacturing by methane. Now, methane is reacting with dichloride. Sunlight in the presence of H nu minus HCl and you will get your CH3Cl called what? Chloromethane. Now again it is going to be reacting itself with the dichlorine Okay, so addition reaction kind of thing, a chlorination in the presence of what? Sunlight. First will uh, uh, give you chloromethane, second will give you dichloromethane, second chlorination. Now we have a third method and the third method is the dichloromethane can be obtained by reduction of chloroform but in a different way. Which is uh, actually going to be reduced. 
okay, which is going to be reduced. Uh, either you can use it like this also. Okay, reduction in the presence of nickel catalyst, rainy nickel. That is what hydrogenation technique again, but in a different way. You will get your dichloromethyl. Simple as that. So I hope you get the all three preparation method for the dichloromethyl. Okay, so now we are moving for what? Now we are moving for their characteristic and uses. Okay, so characteristic and uses are also been there. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you in that uh, many of the compounds you can find in out colorless liquid. Only two compounds are colored. So please remind only colored uh, compounds name. Uh, characteristic and uses. Yes, it is colorless liquid. Uh, boiling point is 313 Kelvin temperature then after uh, it is useful as in a solvent industries uh, solvent as an in, in, in industries and mostly it is useful as a solvent in the production of chemicals used in a removal of color it's a decolorizing agent clear uh, to manufacturing what decolorizing agent we can use this dichloromethane it is harmful for nerve system yes okay and then after if it is connected contact with our direct with our eyes it damages our cornea clear no 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 corona it's cornea okay so it is just going to be damages our cornea if it is connect uh, contact with our uh, eyes directly and another one thing that uh, if it is uh, directly contact with our skin there is a red red kind of a rashes uh, are being formed like a red spots are just creating and it's it's uh, one kind of itching kind of a thing that you can finding out over there okay so this is about the dichloromethane uh, the preparation characteristic and the uses okay so now we are moving for the second one that is chloroform okay so usually known as a chloroform uh, i think that uh, present in lab but it is not going to be make yourself faint uh, yes actually it is useful to make the patient uh, faint before the operation of uh, that person whatever the kind of operation is there uh, the IUPAC name of the compound is trichloromethane CHCl3 it's a molecular formula so let us go with the preparation method first uh, chloroform is manufactured by the by the reaction of ethanol with a dichloride in the presence of bleaching powder will give you chloroform see let us write it chloroform is obtained by reaction of ethanol with Cl2 okay reaction of with the Cl2 in the presence of bleaching powder see let us go with the reaction so this is our ethanol reacting with Cl2 bleaching powder yes it means oxidation will take place and we have to know that whenever that if you are going to do the oxidation of ethanol by the use of some weak oxidizing agent it must give you aldehyde yes we got ethanol now that ethanol again that ethanol again going to be reacting with the Cl2 but three moles of Cl2 in the presence of bleaching powder again oxidation reaction takes place will give you a main material that is we called as chloral we called it what chloral 
Okay, so now we are having that the chloral 2 CCL3 CHO. Chloral is just going to be reacting itself with the calcium dihydroxide. I am taking 2 moles of chloral which is treated with calcium dihydroxide. Okay will give you our desired product 2 moles of chloroform and as a byproduct at C double O plus C A that is we call as calcium ferment. Okay. How it is possible? Because if we are talking about that calcium having 2 plus where uh, H C double O ferment having only minus one so again of that one is to two ratio being there okay so we'll get a calcium ferment like this so this is the first process for the preparation of chloroform by the use of ethanol till to the chloroform okay we'll give you ethanol then again it is treated with that bleaching powder means oxidation takes place we'll give you chloral chloral will be treated with calcium hydroxide will give you chloroform now we are moving for the second preparation method in that second preparation method we are going to do the hydrogenation but in the different uh, catalyst presence okay uh, that we uh, in the previous one we took a nickel as an uh, catalyst but now we are taking iron in the presence of water as well see i will write it chloroform is formed the second method chloroform is formed by partial reduction of carbon tetra chloride with the iron catalyst yes water let us go for the uh, reaction carbon tetra chloride Tetrachloromethane and IUPAC name of it and the common name carbon tetrachloride plus dihydrogen. plus HCl simple as that reaction that we are having over there uh, then uh, it's a common name you can call it as an trichloromethanol simple as that here we are using the iron in the presence of water again what reduction takes place and uh, so you can call it hydrogen nation takes place okay so simple as that now we are moving for the third preparation method but before we are moving for the third official preparation method i am just giving a one hint relating with it what is the hint see uh, in the previous one uh, we are using the chlorination in the presence of sunlight like i took a methane clear then chlorination will give you chloromethane okay then i took that again the chlorination in the presence of sunlight will give you dichloromethane the third chlorination in the presence of sunlight you all are really much intelligent to get this thing okay so i think that the third chlorination will give you the chloroform if you can't remind this all the process at least write down that preparation method please okay now we are moving for the third one so what is the third reaction method here we are using a chloral hydrate we are using what Chloral hydrate reacting with the concentrated alkali will give you pure chloroform. See, I will write it. Pure chloroform. Is 
comes off being there. Bye. Reaction of Chloral hydrate with concentrated alkali. Okay, so chloral hydrate can be looks like. See, first of all, write down the chloral. Now remove that O and OH twice. Okay, again, again. This is chloral. Remove that O, add the hydrate. This is called chloral chloral hydrate. Okay, which is going to be reacting with NMH, sodium hydroxide, but which kind of concentrated NMH? On this side, we will get CH Cl. Three. And yes, this is our what? Chloro plus H C double O and Chloro. sodium ferment and the removal of what? Water molecule as well. Okay, so yes, as simple as that, uh, it is H C double O minus one. And Na plus both are having a one is to one kind of a ratio containing valency. So uh, it's a simple way that uh, we studied uh, actually three officially, but I give the four preparation method including the chlorination in the presence of what sunlight. Okay, let us see for the characteristic and the uses. Okay, so now we are moving for the properties and uses of the chloroform. Uh, as I told you that. Uh, it will be colorless uh, liquid then the boiling point is 334 kelvin uh, it has a sweet smell yes and uh, vapor is combustible uh, soluble in alcohol and ether now the most time one it kept open and I means if you are just putting that in an open atmosphere it will be self oxidize itself and will give you some poisonous kind of a gas that we called as carbonyl chloride uh, also called as phosgene uh, yes uh, phosgene is highly highly hazardous for our nerve system it's directly attack on our blood uh, transmission system and that blood will be chalked up it's completely blocked our blood uh, transmitting system and our blood cannot reach to the heart and yes that person will be die within uh, five minutes in our india uh, i think uh, two or three kind of uh, companies uh, are having authority to uh, like uh, producing this phosgene gas yes it is useful for the manufacturing of the uh, Bosch and Long kind of like a renew kind of a uh, uh, liquid that is useful to wash the lenses yes okay uh, I think uh, Atul Pharmaceutical is being there and also Poshak Pharmaceutical is being there yes uh, Poshak is uh, situated at the Baroda okay in, in Gujarat and Atul is I think around to be Madhya Pradesh, yeah, Madhya Pradesh uh, and uh, in a Bhopal mid case Khan that COCL2 is also a major kind of a contribution uh, for that uh, really much good we cannot cal uh, we cannot call that it's good but uh, it's really really horrible kind of the calamities that we uh, got at that time okay so this is about the phosgene now uh, we all know that uh, chloroform is useful as an anesthesia before that uh, operating a patient okay before the operation of that patient okay so if you are giving it as an anesthesia to the patient, it will be in an open atmosphere. So if you are giving an anesthesia and that is converted itself into chloroform to phosgene, that person will die soon. That is why to prevent to um, converting that chloroform to phosgene, chloroform to phosgene, we should add some amount of alcohol in that chloroform to resist its toxic conversion like that uh, uh, we are adding toxic sulfur uh, to resist that uh, any of the person will drink that alcohol or ethanol present in our lab similar okay uh, and uh, another one use it is used as a solvent and another one use you can use that as an anesthesia before operating the patient
hope that you got everything related with it okay so today we ended up our lecture here mudi